Hi, I'm Curtis Owens from Performance Tackle in Los Alamitos. I'm here to show you one of the knots that I get a lot of requests for how to tie and how to do. It's a form of a dropper loop. Uh, it's a little different than your standard dropper loop knot. Um, it's kind of a variation of a spider hitch, but it's a lot stronger uh, knot to use than your standard dropper loop. So I'm going to show you how we tie that connection so you can use it for dropper loop fishing. Um, so here we go. So you're going to take your piece of monofilament that you're using. Um, take and make your loop however large you think you're going to want it. Um, some guys fish a really short loop with a long end for the weight. Um, other guys use a really large loop. It's up to you however you're going to use the application for. But you're going to take and make your loop in the line. Um, you're going to take the loop, put it behind the two tag ends. So you've got those behind those. And then what you're going to do is put your fingers in and do three turns. One, two, three rotations. You're going to grab your loop, pull it through so you have kind of a figure eight and then pull it down. When you cinch it down for official use, you definitely want to wet it with some saliva so the mono doesn't burn. Wet it really well, cinch it down really tight, and you have your loop. Now your weight always goes on your tag end here, um, never on the loop. The loop can also be cut if you wish to have just a single strand for your hook, and your hook will go on here. But as I said, it's very important that your tag end is where your weight always goes on the setup and then your hook goes on the either the entire loop or you can like I said trim the loop and use it on just the tag in there. But that's a very strong dropper loop, um, a lot stronger than the standard one that a lot of people tie and like I said it's definitely very very good knot for that purpose. <laughs>